Okay, Survivor, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. This is not an official application. I'll be applying for 49 during the summer. And uh, you could say I'm always devoted, don't you? Um, but I just want to uh, tell you something, and you know, already know this about me. I'm in a coffee shop. That's why the music is... But anyway... Um, I am, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, You already know that I am the most consistent and longest running Canadian applicant. It will be 11 years this spring, this April, or May, or whatever. But, so, you know, 11 years. And when I uh, apply officially this summer, you will, uh, I'm just going to start over again. Like last, you know, last summer was, uh, I was trying to get on 47 and 48, and it was just to kind of purge some of the stuff that was, you know, holding me back. But didn't like what I had to say, because you didn't cast me or get back to me. Uh, which fucking sucks. But you just per- persevere, because you know that your time, you know if you just keep doing it, you'll find a match. You can't give up. Um, unlike a lot of the people, I'm going to earn my way on that show. But he's, you know, you say when you're on, when Jeff says, you earn your place when you're on Survivor. But a lot of the people who get on don't earn, don't earn it. Don't earn it. They're just like, oh, you, you get on. But anyway, what I really want to say, um, you know, what I really want to say to you is that, uh, if you had cast me for 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, if you wanted to cast me, if you had cast me for those seasons instead of some of the other people, um, I would have, uh, I would be safe. I would be safer. I would have more opportunities, like personally, like, I haven't seen my family since 1999, and they're only in Halifax, and I haven't been able to afford it since I've been pushed back to Canada because of the pandemic. Um, But if you had put me on Survivor, I would have seen them a long time ago. Um, I would have more money. I would have more opportunities. I would have more, you know, like I could build off of that in a way, even if I were the first boot, but if I did get on, I would play to win. I would play to win, and I would shake up that goddamn game, because I see you cast people that are just sit on the island like, and it's like, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be a villain, but I'd make good TV. You know, I'd be a good TV. I don't have it in my heart to play a villain. I'm not one, but I am gray. You know, I'm a human being. I think all human beings are gray, but I'm just saying, like, it's kind of annoying to, like, here's where I am, like, I'm now working in commercials, but I'm just barely hanging on because I can't really get any commercial work as a set PA because I don't drive a car, and it's going to take me a long time to fix that out, time, money, whatever. I uh, am in this Director's Guild of Canada program to be trained as as an AD, but I'm not being called out on set, and I'm Hopefully I'm going to write a letter tonight and that might hopefully change it for once and for all. I was supposed to get a job. I, this is true. I mean, I can back it up. But I had an interview for, with Amazing Race Canada in February for an entry-level casting position. Then it was, del- I mean, it was, I had it in November, but it was for February. And then they delayed it for May. Now I don't know if I have the job or not. And, like... I don't know how I'm going to, like, my mother had sold land so I could survive, and now I don't, like, in a month or two, like, it's all going to be out, and I hope something will break, because something has to, but if you had cast me on that show, I'd be safe, I'd be playing, I'd be a character, I wouldn't disappoint you. That's just my message. Now, this summer, like, I have to find, find another way to survive in real life, and then I will put forth a future one, a future video that will get past this crap stuff. I know it's already in my head and I will, uh, hopefully that will get me on 49.
But I'll tell you this. You're about to go out for 46 and 47. You know what? I can be a last minute replacement. Give me that fucking ticket. I'll go to Fiji. Done. Like if one of those pandemic watchers that you keep casting are disappointing you, replace them with me, put me on. All right.